Boy GT is with Gamer and I'm back at it again here with another awesome video. In today's video, we'll be showing you how to get jets or helicopters in your personal garage. But before we continue on, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe if you're brand new, hit the little bell next to my name, and post don't turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any awesome glitches just like this one here on my channel. But anyway, guys, yes, you're probably thinking, where the hell is that glitch? That you promised us well i did not technically promise you guys that i will be uploading it i did say that i may not upload it and unfortunately will not be uploading it as it's just wasting my time and there's literally loads of glitches out there that i can literally hit and upload here in my channel as fast as hell but literally i'm spending too much time with it and you know you're probably thinking well where's all these videos well, there we go. I mean, I'm spending too much time with this glitch and it's absolutely annoying me. So, I've just give up. I'm not going to have it on my channel, unfortunately, guys. But, if a be much better one comes in, I'm sure to have it here on my channel. But, you want to make sure that you've got a full garage. You want to make sure you've got a personal vehicle storage. And, obviously, an MOC. And, you also need a full hangar. Oh, my God. That is too much work, isn't it, guys? But yeah, unfortunately, you do need all them. Once you've got it all set, and, all set and go, we're simply good to go to be able to continue on with today's video. But we definitely need to get to 500 subscribers. We need the, let's keep smashing these subscribes. And hopefully we'll get there sometime this month. Probably, you know, next month. But let's get there before Christmas. So let's make sure that you start off in a full garage. And as you can see, I am in Richard Majestics right now, or you probably wouldn't know that I'm in there. But you want to make sure that you're in a, a full garage. And you need to make sure that it is full. And that it, it's not just, you know, a little bit full. We need it to be make sure it's full as fudge. Now once you've done that, we're simply good to go. So you want to make sure your last spawn location is set to your garage that you're chosen to do this glitch at. And you want to make sure that you've got a vehicle in there that you do not really give a poo about. And as you can see, I do have a vehicle in here that I don't care about. And that's the LG RH8. Just ignore the uh, X80 Protos right there. That's a uh, buy everything for free glitch. Really did a number on my character. But anyway guys, once you've got all that said and done, let's head over to your personal hangar. So once you are inside of your hangar, you want to make sure, of course, this is full as fudge. Now, of course, if you decide to, you know, want to buy aeroplanes or God knows what, then I suggest just fill it up with, you know, buzzards or anything like that. If you do decide to keep on purchasing these aircrafts that do decide to come along when Rockstar does decide to release them, then you can always just replace them over the uh, buzzards. So it doesn't really matter. Just just fill it up to vehicles that you don't really care about. So like if you've got buzzards, stick them all in there, and we're simply good to go. And then when, once you want to replace, you know, a couple of them, then you surely can do. You can purchase them off the website, and you can just replace them over them. But once you've noticed, then you know this hangar is full as fudge worth of aeroplanes or helicopters or whatever you choose all you simply want to do is simply exit the hangar now this glitch is absolutely easy now there's two ways that is going to happen in today's video but i'll be you know telling you what will happen and what you'll expect so what you want to do is you want to call pegasus yeah you want to request either a buzzard a savage or a jet just choose anything that can actually go inside of your hangar. It's like a caddy bob or a buzzard or anything like that. It doesn't really matter. Just anything that can actually access and actually go into the hangar. Just actually ignore all the marshals right there. I went crazy when there was three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call out my savage right now. And there we go. There is my savage. Now, what you want to do is actually get inside of your helicopter or your jet or whatever you've chosen to do this glitch with. Now, there's two variants of this. What you simply want to do is pull this inside of your hangar. 
Now what should happen, you will receive an uh, alert, obviously saying it is full. Now of course, you want to, you know, accept the alert. Now there's two things what will happen, and one of them will happen right now. So what you want to do is pull it in, and what you would notice, it'll come up full hanger, accept it. You'll either get a cut screen, if you get a cut screen, just simply press start, online, choose or find new session or you'll be frozen like this just do the exact same start online find new session when you're frozen or you're just going in when you're doing the cut screen now once you are actually getting to the new session it'll glitch out and you'll have the menu right here replace over the vehicle that you don't care about so i'm going to replace over the lg rh8 right here and what you can see as by going up to the blue lights you would now have a savage inside of your garage that is how awesome this glitch is a savage in your garage that is absolutely awesome now guys now you won't be able to obviously call or request this unfortunately now we all probably wish we did or was able to but unfortunately we're not able to do that but what we can do is stick it inside the mobile operation center and that's why i said you know you need a mobile operation center at the first of all so if you've got any other or anything like that or you've not set up your mobile operation center then as you can see i'm going to go on to the war stock cash and carry i'm going to make sure that i have got a personal vehicle storage now that's more important that you've got a personal vehicle storage in bay free Need, you need to be able to access it with a personal vehicle and obviously to be able to do this so if you haven't just simply purchase it and then we're simply good to go now once you are actually inside your mobile operation center you just want to make sure that a vehicle is inside of you know the mobile operation center now as you can see man was destroyed so we're going to bring it out of um, my motion regional insurance and what you want to do is bring this outside and you want to bring this all the way to your garage where your savage or your jet or whatever you spawned in before and you actually replaced it with something so you know which it is so just go over to that garage now of course this garage will be full and you will get an alert saying it's full just accept the alert and then we're simply good to go now what you need to do guys is since simply replace over the savage or the jet or whatever you choose to put inside of your garage just replace over it and there we go now that savage will now be inside your mobile operation center now i'm going to show you now guys what happens when it actually is inside the mobile operation center now it's going to be funny so that's why i thought to keep this little clip in here so as you can see i'm now at the mobile operation center and this i just thought you know a little bit of funniness on a friday night why not you know that's why i decided to just keep this video part in here and once you go inside your mobile operation center the jet or the helicopter or whatever you chosen if it's big enough it will absolutely go crazy and that's what it's done here and as you can see all the sparks and everything else it's absolutely awesome now you probably just want to watch out so you don't get killed by the blades if possible but yeah it's absolutely insane the fact you know how you know everything can just go flying out and all the sparks and everything like that is absolutely hilarious but unfortunately you won't be able to to actually bring it out but what you can do guys is just simply go outside your mobile operation center now once you are in outside your mobile operation center i'm just going to go over to a roadside just to make sure that it's you know it's it's got a bigger space for the helicopter to go on to now once you've done all that good all stuff all you simply want to do is go down to mobile operation center and go down to request personal vehicle it will say you do not have active personal vehicle presence but you'll still be able to request it now just simply request it and that savage will arrive at you or straight at you 
and just wait for a couple of minutes will actually arrive and there we go the helicopter is now there and that is how easy it is guys it'll always spawn right near you that is how awesome this glitch is you don't even need to just simply you know do the glitch um where you actually go into a job back out you know you can just do this simple trick and you know it's good to go but now i'm going to show you what happens to the lg rh8 when you do decide to replace over it now as you can see i'm actually in my hangar right now and as you can see you cannot see it anywhere inside of the hangar so don't worry guys it will you know you will replace over it and it will disappear so don't worry about it if you're thinking i don't want a vehicle inside of my hangar don't worry about it it will not be inside of your hangar and you're simply good to go and your hangar will always be full at this point and you can simply go outside go and request another uh, jet or anything that you want just to do this glitch and you know that is it just do the simple glitch once again and you know you'd be absolutely insane you'd be rolling inside everything it'd be absolutely insane much definitely now of course i did not do it once again but i surely will be doing i'm thinking it's all have a jet inside my marriage as well so i can actually request it you know fast as anything so instead of just calling pegasus or just all that knuckling and jonkling you know i'll be able to just request it out and then bob's uncle challenge you around but yeah that is it that is how to simply store any aircraft or helicopter inside of your garages absolutely solo now unfortunately you will not be able to customize them unfortunately if only will be as it was able to do that you know and, oh, you know if only was able to do all that but unfortunately we cannot be able to do that because obviously we're using it apart um, with you know the hanger so unfortunately we're not able to customize them so if you decide to use a buzzard or anything like that unfortunately you will not be able to customize them and they'll always be the way it is so unfortunately that is just the way it is but you can still have a savage or a jet or anything like that inside of your garage now we're going to show you now guys is what happens if you decide to blow your vehicle up now you're probably worried about it what happens to it what will happen well of course i'll be showing you in today's video so what i'm going to do is get an rpg i'm going to blow this vehicle up and surprisingly remarkably it survived one rpg so that is absolutely insane the fact that it can actually survive one rpg the Rockstar did definitely decide to fix that helicopter, so that's good. So just recall, request your insurance to get the Savage out. And then once you've done that, that will go inside of your garage. And you will obviously be able to request it through the Mobile Operations Center, obviously, once again. But I'm not able to show you that, unfortunately, because obviously... You know, there is a timer of three minutes or so, so unfortunately I will not be able to show you that. But that is it, guys. That is sick. That is absolutely insane, the fact that you can do that in today's video. But anyway, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you in today's video. I hope you do you like this video. Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe if you're brand new. Hit the little bell next to me so you don't miss out. Awesome content just like this here on my channel. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. See you in the next one. Bye. Have a loopy day.